Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and thanks so much for joining me for today's video. And I'm super happy to be coming to you guys today to bring you a eyeshadow palette to clutter. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. It's a long time coming. I did an eyeshadow palette to clutter at the end of the year last year and I finally sent those palettes to Project Beauty Share and I'm ready to declutter some more. I have so much makeup and I love eyeshadow palettes, as you well know. So hi, welcome if you're new. My name is Amy and this is Dolly Mama Beauty on this channel. I love eyeshadow palettes, obviously. That's what we're going to be talking about today, only this time we're going to be decluttering some eyeshadow palettes. Now, granted, these are not bad palettes. They served their time. They did well. I bought them for a reason, which means I did love them. And I usually don't buy palettes that I don't love or don't want. Occasionally, I will get into a bit of a frenzy like I did with TJ Maxx, and I will collect and collect and collect, what inevitably was probably the wrong thing to do with some of the travel palettes and everything, as you'll see in this video. But for the most part, I love all the palettes that I buy, and I just know that now some of these are just palettes that are just not being used or they're too old, they're past their prime and they're just things that I need to let go of. So hi, I'm super excited. First and foremost, secondly, I'm very excited about today's eye look. This eye look I created with one of my favorite palettes and I think it's my favorite eye look that I've ever done. I will zoom in for you guys in just a second so you can see this, but I have to give a shout out to this palette. This is the Alien Cosmetics, well, it's the Unearthly Cosmetics. It's alien on this uh, packaging, not normal palette. Oh my gosh. This is one of the best palettes of all time. I love this palette. You guys, I, I have to shout out this palette. I don't even know if it's still available. If it's not, it's a crime. Please Unearthly. Um, this is the best palette ever. One of the best palettes ever. Let me zoom in. I have to, you guys, I'm so proud of this eye look. And it's so stunning. I think it's literally my favorite eyeshadow palette, uh, eyeshadow look that I've ever done. Let me zoom in. So you guys can see. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. I love it so much. I love it so, so, so much. I um, used this deep dark brown on the outer corner, blended it out with the brown, put this through the, 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 the first two thirds of my crease, meshed it with that. Then I put this on the lid and topped it with the green. Oh my God. Stunning look. I am so, so obsessed with this look and I am like top, top, one of my top looks ever by far, 1000%. So I have to say, I just have to shout it out. And what do you guys think of my hair? What do you guys think of my hair? So for those of you who do a deep dive into Instagram or have seen me do this before or follow me on Facebook or whatever, I sometimes like to do robe curls. And so I did some robe curls and that's why my hair is wavy and I am obsessed with it and it looks so much fun. So I'm super excited about this. I hope you guys are excited. I'm feeling really good today, which for me is a good thing because I've been feeling like crap pretty much all the time lately. And um, life is just, my life is just, my life is a total disaster. Like, it's just a disaster. So anyway, we're having a good day today, so here we are. Okay, so uh, let me just get situated right here. I'm gonna put some palettes over here, and then we're gonna start going through them, because, oh, hold on one second. I'm gonna put some palettes right here, and we're gonna start going through them, and it's gonna take me a minute, because I have a big, big stack of palettes over here. So let me just get situated, and we will start with the declutter. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, okay. Are you excited? Okay, just give me a second to get situated and we will start. Just a sec. Okay, I've got my first stack here. So I'll probably do about two or three stacks. Um, so these ones are palettes that I literally just pulled out like less than half an hour ago when I looked at my collection. I'm like, what can I declutter here? What can I really feasibly declutter? What am I not gonna use? Like, what am I not gonna use? There are a lot of palettes that I have that I probably won't use, but I just can't declutter for whatever reason. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that. But um, yeah, let's start with the first one. It's rattling around in here, I can hear it. Okay, guys, I, I don't use this palette, and I hate to get rid of it simply because it was a gift, but I don't use these palettes. 
This is the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. I, this is my last monochromatic palette that I have from them. Well, I actually have another one in this video that I bought after I got these as gifts. I got the it, Blue Moon, Just My Luck, and It's My Pleasure from my friend Ellie, and I'm so thankful that I got them, and I use them, I use them for a long time, but I don't use them anymore. One of my shades came, one of my shades is Shattered, this one down here. Um, I actually had a catastrophe with this palette in my guest room where I sometimes film and this shadow got all over the carpet. I thought I was going to get murdered for that, but my husband and I were able to get it up without any really, really bad incidents before I like dug into the carpet and we cleaned the carpet and it all came out. This is absolutely stunning. I really, really love it. This center shade is like my favorite shade of ever, ever. I thought about just keeping that, but I'm just like, no, you know what? I really, I, I was always disappointed that this was a shimmer and not a matte. I just don't use it. I love purple eyeshadow, but I don't use it. So it isn't complete, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the It's My Pleasure. Um, and so let's talk again. Now I mentioned briefly at the beginning of the video, we're talking about the BH Cosmetics palettes, the travel palettes. Now I went a little ham last year um, at TJ Maxx um, and you know bought up a bunch of, of BH palettes. Um, and it became kind of like a treasure hunt to try and find all of the travel palettes. So it was kind of a game and I was just really, really into it. And I got them all, except for one that was limited edition is no longer available. That That's the one that I want worse than anything else. It's always that way. Like you have one palette that you can't get that you really, really want, but it, yeah. This one I'm never gonna use. Like, I don't even know why I bought it. I think, like I said, I was in that mindset of I have to get all of them. This is the Tokyo palette, Trendy in Tokyo. I it, It's just a rainbow palette. It's all matte, I think. No, there's some shimmer in there. Um, I'm never gonna use this. <laughs> I'm never gonna use it. The quality is really, really good on this, but I'm not gonna use it. So I can't justify keeping it. Um, I think I spent like $5.99 on this. But see, to me, like, I've learned my lesson from doing that whole thing with TJ Maxx. Like, you do not need to, you know, even though I do YouTube, like, you don't need to get every single palette just to, to do a ranking or just to have it or, you know, um, to, you know, collect everything. It just was, it's not, it's not, I'm not going to use this. I don't like rainbow palettes, A. B, I don't like brights. So, I mean, it's just a waste of money for me. Waste of money. And, but I do, it's Tokyo. I mean, it's Japan. You guys know I'm obsessed with Asia. Japan, Korea, China, Thailand, all of it. I, I love me, I love me some Asia. But the trendy in Tokyo, I'm sorry, I have to. I can't keep it. I just can't keep it because I'm never going to use it. And it, it, to have it just because it's Tokyo and just because it's BH is not a reason to keep it, okay? So this one I'm sad about, but at the same time, I do not use this and I really should hang on to it, but I don't use it anymore. And it, it, it was such a good palette for such a long time for me and I got some super creative looks out of it, but every time I look at this, I just pass it over. This is the Divinity palette from Strobe Cosmetics. Um, Shroud now. Shroud Cosmetics. Um, I love this thing. It, it, it's so pretty. It's the weirdest color story you're ever seeing in your life. Honestly, this is the weirdest color story. But I've had it for so long and I, and I just don't use it. I just don't use it. Um, the two shimmers in here, one is like this really, really deep purple, which really to, for me is the, it's, there's nothing to use it with because I would have to use that all over my lid and I have no nothing to anchor it in the outer corner with depth in terms of a matte. Um, but I've combined these shades to make really unique looks. I just know that this is not something that I'm gonna get any more use out of. So sadly, <coughs> excuse me, sadly I'm gonna let this go. Um, it's really been a wonderful palette and I love Shroud Cosmetics. Um, I have a couple other palettes from Shroud Cosmetics. I really want that Moonfall palette, and I have Batty Beans palettes, but this this one is 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 really near and dear to my heart, but I can't keep it for sentimental reasons. I just can't do it. So that's the Shroud Cosmetics Divinity palette. Okay, I debated these two palettes. Um, they're both from the same brand. I debated them for a really, really long time, but I don't use them. And I think it's because, 
and I wanted to say that I didn't have a problem with the original formula, but I do notice that when I use my Tropical Vibes palette and my Palettopoly palette, I want to use those versus using my Exbute Oceanic palette. I love the color story of this. I think if I can get it on a deep discount, and, and Ace Pute just had a recent sale, but I'm on a no buy, so I couldn't buy it. If I could get this again with the new formula, I think I will do it, but I don't know. Like, if I'm getting rid of this now, because I don't use it, would I use it even if the formula was better? So it's, it's a, you know, it's one of those things where I don't know. This is so stunning. This does make me want to use blue and green. This is the most beautiful palette. Like, it really, really is. I just don't use it. I just don't use it. Um, I just wonder if I would if I repurchased it with the new formula. So like I said, if I got it for like 50% off, maybe, I would consider repurchasing it. But for the most part, I just am going to go ahead and let this go. This is such a pretty palette. I really, really love Ace Bute as a brand. They're one of my favorite brands. Um, they're, with their formula, where it, what it is now, I literally would want to buy all their palettes. It's them and Nomad for me. Those two are my favorite uh, and Blend Bunny. Well, Nomad, I mean, um, Ace Beauté, those shimmers and the, the mattes are good. Um, I overall, I think that the new, the new Ace Beauté formula is my favorite formula of all eyeshadow palettes. Excuse me, when I'm still sick. Okay. My, my favorite formula all around for any brand, mattes and shimmers, is definitely Ace Beauté. They are the new formula, the like the Palettopoly formula. That is the best formula I have in my collection, hands down. I love like Nomad's color stories and I love their formulas, but overall, like I can count on the mattes and the shimmers in um, Ace Beauté for sure. And, but this is their old formula, but I love this color story. So this is sad, but I'm gonna let go of the Oceanic palette. Same goes for the Flare palette. Okay, I love this palette for a long time. I got this palette because of Betty Jean who's a goddess, is a goddess, and I adore Betty Jean. But it's a similar story. The I don't reach for this anymore. Um, I think the big problem for me is that I need some, I need a really, really deep shade, and the formula is just not as good as the newer Ace Beauté formula. I would be more likely, I think, which is ironic, to purchase the Oceanic palette over this one if I had the opportunity again, but I don't think I would purchase this one again. I just don't think I would. They've had other palettes come out since. I think their um, Ambiance palette is one that I really, really want to get, or their, it's, I'll put it on the screen if I think about it. There's some other palettes that they have that I'm just like, oh, I really, really love that color story. But this is just pretty, it, it served its purpose. These are very, very similar. Um, uh, I just, the formula is not as good, like I said, as the newer formula, um, so this one is going to go, um, but I did love it for quite some time, and um, I think this palette specifically started my obsession with Batty Bean, and, or, a aka Betty Jean, and her eyeshadow palette collection and her channel in general was this palette, and I got this because I like her, and I wasn't disappointed. Um, but I don't use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. This one's gonna shock some of you, um, because this was a really, really, really popular and favorite palette for me and my collection for a long time, and I swore I'd never get rid of this, but I, I don't use it anymore. And I remember when I found it at TJ Maxx, I was so excited. This is the Royal Affair palette from BH Cosmetics. I don't use it anymore. It's really, really pretty, it's very neutral. And that's not why I'm getting rid of it, because I don't hate neutrals, because it's very versatile, um, but I just don't use it anymore. That's the long and the short of it. I don't use it anymore. And, um, you know, some of the shimmer formulas in here are a little bit, a little bit difficult, but I like the fact that it was cool and warm, and it had some pink to it, and it just had, you know, it had a pop of green, it had a black, that black was buildable black it wasn't super like deep 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 black which is okay but it was dark enough for me to use as an outer corner shade and feel satisfied with the depth um but it's pretty but i just you know you got a pretty silver you got this blue this this is a terrible shade i hate this shade i wish it was better because 
I, I like to have that contrast sometimes with some of these looks to add some sort of dimension and, and life to like a neutral look. And I just didn't get it with these two shades. Um, but this palette I really was like for a long time, it was, it was like in my BH palette ranking. If I ever did a BH palette ranking, this was really, really high because I really, really enjoyed it for a long time. It's a real affair palette. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go. Okay, this one I finally decided it's time. I finally decided it's time. I, and, you know, and I went back and forth on this palette for a long time. I just, for whatever reason, I've never gotten on board with this palette. And it's not because it's a bad palette. It's just been all over the place. And somebody told me to rearrange the pans, and I just never did it. It's the So Jaded palette from Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. I don't know, guys. I, I love this. I love the colors in here. But the, the one thing that I've noticed with me is that a lot of the deep shades in here, a lot of the deeper shades in here are jewel, like jewel tone shimmers without a lot of deep mattes. You've got this deep matte. You've got this is a deep matte. But I, this isn't a matte. This isn't a matte. This is, this is matte. But I don't know, for some reason, and this had some pressed glitters, uh, in it, it had a super shock in it. It just never, I never knew what to do with this. Like I looked at it and I was just like, I'm confused. Like I don't know what to do. And so I just never used it. And so because I just, I've gone back and forth on it for so many, oops, I got some uh, glitter on me. Let me rub that off on my arm. I just thought, you know what? I don't need this. I, I don't need it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. But it is it it has been a very, very pretty and uh, lovely palette. And I and I'm glad I had it for a time, but I just know me and I know that I need I need a little more cohesion. And I like having random color stories and I love having different colors, but for something there there was just something missing and lacking in that palette, which is ironic because it's such a big palette. It's one of their 34 color palettes, it's like their mega palette. It was like the first one I ever did. And it just never, I never found myself, you know, I always found myself looking at it and like, what am I gonna do with this palette? Yeah. So let me grab my next stack of palettes and we will continue it with this declutter. Okay, the next palette I'm going to declutter and I got the next two palettes as gifts. Um, and I thought to myself, should I keep them? Should I, let me switch this, move this a little bit. Should I keep them because they were gifts? Um, and then I looked at them and I'm like, I'm not gonna use them. If I'm not gonna use them, I should pass them on. This palette is from Mary Kay. I have a friend that sells Mary Kay. I'm not into Mary Kay at all. Um, and this is a pretty palette. It's only two mattes and four shimmers and I've not even touched this. Like, I just know I'm not gonna use it. It's pretty and I'm so thankful that she gave it to me, but I just, no, I'm not going to use it because I'm just not into Mary Kay. And I mean, that's kind of sad that I won't even give it a chance, but it's a pretty palette. Um, and more power to people that sell Mary Kay. If that's your thing, great. I'm not into, I'm not into, you know, I do. I, okay. Well, when we're talking about makeup brands and MLMs and stuff like that, I have to admit to you guys, I do have to admit to you guys that I tried the Saint makeup, the one, the cream makeup that you see everybody like trying to sell, you know, with the, you know, with the, where they paint it on and, it, and it's, and it's the little cream pants. That shit is good. Um, excuse me. That stuff is good. That makeup is really, really good. And I really enjoy it. And my best friend sells it. I have two friends that sell Saint makeup and I really do enjoy that makeup. So I don't, I wouldn't say that I don't recommend like MLMs, like if you're there, if they're makeup that you enjoy and that you get use out of, then that's fine. But, um, and I'm not saying I wouldn't ever not use something. Like if I enjoyed it, I'll use it whether, no matter how I got it, you know, or obtained it or whatever. I you know, even thought about selling Saint makeup cause I really do enjoy it. So anyway, Mary Kay, I'm not into Mary Kay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. I got this palette from my friend Christina and her husband JM for my birthday. Um, and I don't hate this brand, but I know I'm not gonna use this. This is the Violet Voss Violet Sunset Palette. Um, it really is quite pretty. It really, really is, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm just not gonna use this brand new. I can give it to somebody 
Um, if it had a really, 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 really like deep, dark, purple, like plum, like eggplant shade, maybe. Um, because you've got these gorgeous purples right here, but you don't have like a deep, deep purple to anchor it. You got this deep brown and stuff, and it's gorgeous, but I just, I know I'm not going to get any use out of this because it's just not my cup of tea. Long and the short of it. So I'm going to go ahead and let, 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 let that go. Okay, here's the other monochromatic palette that I was talking about from Colourpop, and I did get this. And um, this was another one that Batty Bean made me buy. Um, and I think she decluttered this herself recently. And But it's so pretty, and I love this shade. This is the High Tide palette from Colourpop. This is their teal monochromatic palette. And honestly, like I am obsessed with the shade right here. This shade right here, this alone, makes this thing for me. Um, this this shade right here blended up with this, with this these three shades together. Beautiful look. I just don't use this. I, I'm not into monochromatic looks. Obviously, if you look at my eyes today, you can see that I use brown, I use yellow, I use purple, I use beige, I use like so many different colors on my eyes. I love to do mixing and matching. And this is nice to have for this shade right here. But that's all I need it for. Other than that, maybe these two shades. Other than that, I don't use it. So, um, I just, I know, I, I know, and I have to be very conscientious, and you'll see from the next two palettes that I'm about to show you, monochromatic palettes are not for me. I need to stay away from them. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I, you know, the next two palettes, let me adjust here. The next two palettes, same situation with the TJ Maxx shopping sprees that I did last year and it kind of the collection mentality. I bought a couple of monochromatics palettes from the um, uh, Poison Shock collection and they were, um, this one's the Absinthe and this one's the green one. Honestly, this is not a bad palette. <laughs> it's not a bad palette. These um, palettes, they came, they had one that was like a grayscale, they had a purple, they had a blue, they had an orange, they had a pink, and they had this this um, this, this green one, and this is absinthe. And um, it's just, it's pretty, but honestly, guys, I don't, it's monochromatic. I, you know, the last time I did a declutter, I got rid of the Just My Luck palette. I like this better than Just My Luck in terms of its color story, but I'm not going to use it. Like, why do, I, why do I waste my money on things I know I'm not going to use? I've learned my lesson. This I, I have learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. Long and the short of it, I've learned my lesson, okay? So this is the Poison Shock um, palette um, in Absinthe. And it's really pretty, but I don't. I don't use it. Now, this one, this one, is, this one dumbfounds me to no end because I don't even understand myself. I don't like monochromatic palettes. I don't like brights. And the third thing that I am not fond of is pink. So why on earth would I buy the Ghost Pepper palette? Why? Look at that. <laughs> this is the most un-Amy palette of all time. The most un-Amy palette of all time. I do not like pink. Okay, pink is okay. Like, I don't hate it as a color. But on my eyes... I just, I, it's not, like, I have to combine it with other things, and if I do, I'm, I'm able to wear it, because I've done that, but it's just not me. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so this, this is a beautiful face highlight, though. I will give it that. Do I need to say anything else? Do I really need to say anything else about this? Because, honest to God, it is, it is not Amy. Amy doesn't wear this, these, these shades. I'm referring to myself in the third person. Stop it. Um, it's not for me. And I should have known that. But I swear, like when I saw these, they were $3.99 each. I'm like, oh, I gotta try this brand. I gotta try this, um, this series. No. No, 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 no. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Do not buy things you know you're not going to use just to, just to try them. Like, if I was to ever get PR, that's one thing. But this is entirely different. Like, I purchased these with my own money for what? To just have them sit around. I've used them each one time. I've used the, I've used the Ghost Pepper more than the Absinthe, ironically enough. But I, come on, stop. Okay, let's move on. Okay, because I have, I think I have seven more palettes. Seven more palettes. Okay, these palettes I did, I debated. 
for a really, really long time. I debated. Hold on one second. I'm going to check the time. But ultimately, I decided to go ahead and let go of the Maybe palettes that I have. This is the Take Me to Hong Kong palette. <sighs> what happened to this brand? They released a slew of cute palettes. This is the Take Me to Hong Kong, Hong, Hong Kong palette. And then they just didn't do anything else. I loved these little palettes. What, what I didn't like about both of the ones that I had, and the other one is coming up, they, in each of them, they had a shade. The greens are almost the exact same shade. There's another one, I think that's two purples in the other one, where they're almost exactly the same. The quality is really, really good on these, but I don't use this. I don't use this, and this little brand, I swear to God, I don't even know what happened to them. Like, they just don't do anything. They've never done anything else and they're still around and I'm just kind of like confused as to what happened with them. But anyway, the other one, I love this little palette. It's so cute and it's, you know, Hong Kong and Tokyo. Come on, look at this is Tokyo. Guys, I'm obsessed, okay, with, with Asia. Um, this is a Take Me to Tokyo palette. I think it's two purples, yeah. So this one's lighter than this one, but honestly, I mean, look. Two purples, very similar. Pretty bright, fun colors. Read the quality on these, like I said, is super, super good. I'm not a big fan. Like I just, I don't use these guys. I don't use them, and it, and, and it pains me because they are really, really cute. Okay, let's go back to BH again. Another travel palette. This one is the le my least favorite of the ones. I, I think I even like this one less than Tokyo. The quality is just not good on this one. I don't know if I'm if I'm mistaken, but a couple of the shades that I used in here, they were just not pigmented to me, and they just didn't have the same kind of BH quality that I like in some of my other palettes that I own from them. This is the Summer in Saint Tropez palette um, from BH. Um, it just it didn't it didn't cut the mustard for me. <laughs> um, I think I used I think they I used this deep blue. And I used I, something about it didn't work, and it broke my heart because I really, really, really wanted this one, but for some reason it just didn't do what I needed it to do. Some beautiful neutral shades in here, um, some beautiful uh, pops of color in here. It's a very, very nice uh, color story, but for some reason something's missing in here. I, I didn't like this like butter, butter yellow. Like ew, it just looks like a stick of butter. I just couldn't. I can't with that shade um, and it just it didn't it didn't really live up to my expectations for what I wanted the, a travel palette to be because I love my travel palettes and I have a bunch of them down in my bottom drawer and I swore I would like keep all of them but no no no, no. can't do it can't do it won't do it and that is that so there's that okay the next one I listen there is nothing wrong with this palette but I know me, and I should know well enough to know by now, that, that I am not a big like neutral eyeshadow palette where, I, occasionally I'll do it. I asked Delilah the other day, like I had my, some friends over, and I said, hey Delilah, pick mommy a palette. I'm gonna let you pick my makeup. She picked the Sultry palette, which is neutral. But I picked, she picked it, she picked it, she picked the Sultry palette and I used it, and I loved the look that I created with it. So, you know, I do love neutrals, but they're not the thing that I reach for first. So, I don't know why I bought this palette. This is the Limoncello palette. Limoncello palette from ColourPop. I think I bought this the romanticized idea of uh, the Amalfi Coast and Cinque Terre and, you know, Italy, really, and Limoncello, Limoncello, which is delicious. Got me super excited about this. And I had some friends from YouTube that talked it up. I, I, I've used this twice. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of rustic clayish browns with this little, these three little pops of color. It's so boring. And I don't know, beautiful face highlight, what possessed me to think that I was going to be liking this palette. I just, there, you know, I know Betty Jean liked it. Um, but it, it just, you know, uh, and, and Kelly, 
Kelly from Kbella Beauty liked it and a few other people liked it and I just I was like oh I gotta get that palette and I got it I'm just like I don't use this thing I don't <laughs> limoncello okay this one I debated I debated and it might if I if I can't come come if I can't come to if I can't reconcile it in my brain, then I might keep it. I used it twice as well. And I bought this palette for a very specific reason. This is the Disney Mulan ColourPop palette. I'm obsessed with Mulan. Mulan is my favorite. Mulan and Rapunzel. It's either one of, Mulan or Rapunzel. I love those two. They're my two favorite Disney heroines. Mulan's not really a princess, Rapunzel is, but oh, oh, oh my gosh. This is so pretty, guys, this is, it's pretty, but I don't use it. Glitter infused matte down here, pressed glitter, um, gorgeous shade, love this shade. I look at this and I get sultry vibes with a little more warmth. It's gorgeous. I, look at this. This was released around the time that the live action movie came out, which I ironically really, really did like. Very different from the animated version. Um, but I found myself um, wanting to support that movie and Mulan because I loved her so much. Best lipstick shade ever. Where is it? Fua Mulan. <laughs> this, is, this is stunning. I will never get rid of that. Well, it has to go bad, and it will. But look at the packaging on that. I got the I got a, I got the blush from that collection. Um, Good luck charm or whatever it is, and I, I love it. I just don't use this, guys. I don't use this, but I love Mulan. That's not a good enough reason to keep something just because you love the intellectual property it's associated with. But look at this packaging. Oh, it's so pretty. Mulan. I love you, Mulan. I love her. Juan Mulan. She's, yeah. Okay. I got this palette and I have to be very careful when I open it because one of the shades keeps falling out. When Midas went out of business, they, are, they have re, they've gone, they've rebranded and they are back in business now as M-Y-D-A-S Midas. I don't know why that is. I'm not quite sure. But this was only their M-I-D-A-S, like King Midas. Um, this is the Genesis palette. I bought this and the Perception palette at the same time because it was like they were 50% off. And this is really, really pretty, um, but I do not use it. This is the shade that keeps popping out, so I have to be very, very careful. Look at how gorgeous this is, It's but it's blue blues and neutrals which is a combination that people love that i've never been able to figure out does not work for me at all and um it's really really pretty you do good you do got a matte black which is nice and you've got some rosiness in here too you got this kind of mauvey shade with this kind of magenta but the rest of it's brown and uh blue and i just and it, and it, i never got on board with it i never got on board with it so there's that so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I have to double check the one of the shades in there and try to glue it back down before I declutter it. So the last two palettes, and I'm just going to reach around and grab them, are from Glam Light. I do not hate Glam Light. By any means, I don't. But every time I've gotten a Glam Light palette, I just don't use it. So I have decided with the exception of one palette that I do want from them, which is the which is their um, Crazy in Love palette, the Chucky palette. I do really, really want that. I'm just, Glam Light is not something that I really pay attention to, like as a brand, I just don't. But this is so cute and I debated because it's so cute. And I think this is part of the problem with Glam Light. I think people get sucked into the concepts and um, you know, and they, and they really steered away from food themes, which I'm really glad with. I'm glad that they're doing more collabs versus the food theme palettes. I really appreciate that because the food theme palettes are, they were just big and bulky, but this is the ice cream dreams palette. I had to show you in the little truck. Delilah loves this truck. 
Um, when I when I declutter this, I'm probably going to keep the truck for her. So I'm just going to declutter the palette um, because it, the truck is too cute and she loves it. So I'm going to let her keep it. This is so cute. I mean, look at this. But guys, when I open this, what is this? Brights, brights and pastels. That's not me. <laughs> not me. Not me at all. This is not me. Why on earth did I buy this? Why? Don't know. I have a problem and I'm aiming to correct this problem to make sure that I buy things I know I will use. If it looks like something I know that I'm just not gonna use, I'm not gonna buy it for the sake of buying it. <sighs> this palette is not for me. I don't hate it. It's not bad quality. Um, the, some of those pastels are very, very, uh, they're not, uh, they're not pigmented enough for me. I'm talking, when you talk about pastels in an eyeshadow palette, that Lost on Los Angeles palette is where it's at. I compared this to that, not even close in terms of quality. The Lost in Los Angeles from BH Cosmetics pastels are way, 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 way better than these pastels in this palette. If you ever needed a pastel palette, I'm sorry, and I don't know knock on Natasha Denona, don't waste your money on a Natasha Denona, um, even if it's $65 or $69, whatever, for their pastel. Do the BH Cosmetics palette. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. That Lost in Los Angeles palette is everything, hands down. Okay, so there's that. The last palette, hold please. Similar to the Ice Cream Dreams palette, I bought this, I've never used it. This is the cake palette from Glamite. Never used it, never touched it. And because I haven't, I'm just like, okay, here you go. Somebody, somebody take it off my hands. Um, there, it's not even swatched. It's absolutely stunning. But look at that, what is it? Brights, brights. I need some grunge in there. I need some grunge in there. There's nothing grungy, it's just brights. Um, it, guys, I, I, you know what? And then the, the little oven and all that shit. I, excuse my language, but it, it's, it's one of those things where you're just like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? The cake palette. I might try to sell some of these. I don't know. Um, some of them are probably too old for me to sell. And some of them are probably going to have to just be thrown away. Uh, probably like, um, you know, just a few, few of the palettes, the, the, the Divinity palette or the, you know, some of them are really, really old. So I'm probably just going to have to let some of those go. But that is a big palette pile, guys. That's a lot of palettes. So I'm going to declutter all of those. So that's as far as I'm getting right now. I'm sure I have more palettes to declutter. I have some palettes in my collection that I've used very, very, very minimally that I think, think to myself, I'm like, do I really want to keep this? but I'm not there yet. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my, my newest declutter and uh, I think it did pretty good. There's a lot of palettes in there. So anyway, that's it for you now, you guys. For Hey Finger Hearts, I purple you. You're awesome and amazing and I love you. And thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tune in for more and I'll see you in my next one. Take care, bye.